Hi, we are going to practice naming all kinds. Now I'm going to put a card, just like at the top of the video, uh, for practice on alkenes. I have a reminder list of all of the rules for naming multiple bonds. So if you need a little refresher on rules, check out that video, just the first maybe like 60 seconds of it. All right, we're going to jump in and begin practicing. Let's look at number one. Uh, remember, we're going to count the longest string or longest chain of carbons that contain the multiple bond. So I see my triple bond right here. Also remember, we want to give that multiple, multiple bond the smallest number possible. So I'm going to start counting on the right hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. They're both six. We can choose either chain. We'll always end up with the same answer. Um, I like to do the straight where it's written linearly. So let's do our carbon one, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice. Uh, looks like we have two carbons attached as a substituent onto carbon number four. Remember two, the prefix for that is going to be eth because it's a substituent. We put yl, il on it, so ethyl, it's an ethyl group. So on the fourth carbon, four, ethyl, there's a substituent. And then on the second carbon, that's the first carbon to touch that multiple bond. You always write the carbon that very first touches the multiple bond. So two, and then I had six carbons in this long parent chain, hex, the triple bond gives the ending the y-n-e, ine. Let's say that one more time, four ethyl two hexine. Very good. A little reminder, we put dashes in between numbers and letters, and if you have two numbers together, multiple numbers together, you put commas. Let's look at number two. Okay, I see my triple bond. We want to give that the smallest number possible. I'm going to start counting on the left-hand side. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, look, I have two uh, methyl groups. That condensed way of writing CH32, it means I have a methyl group up here and a methyl group down there. So I'm going to start over again. Let's do our one, two, three, four, five. Those methyl groups are attached to the five carbon, six, seven. So our longest parent chain is going to be seven carbons. That's hept for our Greek prefix. We are going to have the two methyl groups on the five carbon. So it's five, five. We've got both methyl groups on the five. Dimethyl for the two methyls. And then our triple bond, very first touches carbon number three. So three hept for seven carbons, ein, that there's a triple bond touching that third carbon. Let's read it one more time. Five, five, dimethyl, three heptine. Man, do you sound smart? Yes, because you are smart. <laughs> Let's look at some skeletal structures and how we would decipher these and name these. I see my triple bond. We want to give it the smallest numbers possible. Let's check both left and right. So going from the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, or let's check going from the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so then the second thing I look at is since they're both going to have um, the three carbon, if I go from left to right or right to left, let's look at the substituents and give those the smallest numbers. So if I go left to right, we'd have a two and a five, methyl group, those are my methyl groups, with the three being for my triple bond. Let's go right to left. I have a one, two, five. They're the same, they're the same. I could write this left to right or right to left and get the exact same name, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go left to right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's begin with our substituents. Our substituents are on the two and five, so two comma five to separate the two numbers. Then we do a dash between the number and the letter. The two methyl groups, I say dimethyl to tell the reader we've got two of those. And then the first carbon to touch that triple bond, carbon number three. Three hex, the longest chain is six, ein for that triple bond. One more time, two five dimethyl three hexine. Nice, very good. Okay, let's do this one. Wow, look at this. This is a pretty long chain. We want to give the triple bond, that multiple bond, the smallest numbers possible. So I can see right away, we're going to have to number right to left. So this would be my carbon one, two, 
three, four. Notice five, six, or four, five, six, seven. This will be my longest chain. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten carbons. And now this is my substituent, and there's one, two carbons. Again, two carbons, that's eth. It's going to be an ethyl group. So we've got four ethyl. The ethyl group is attached to the number four carbon. One, the first carbon to touch that triple bond is carbon number one. One, and then I had 10 carbons in this parent chain. Deck, ein for that triple bond. One more time. Four ethyl, one decine. Very cool. So proud of you. Keep going, keep smiling. It helps to be positive. I'm proud of you. Thanks.